Hello, and these women were beautiful, as you see. <laughs> And uh, when women being hardworking, it's something that that can also encourage someone to to marry them. Oh, a random girl to to accept you, you have to respect her. Mm -hmm. You have to to be confident. You have to give her money. Money. Yeah, money. They like sure. Money. So you're you're good diggers. No. From these women, there are a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They're honest. Okay. They're intelligent. They are beautiful. They have like big foreheads. Big foreheads. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Tear Travels. In today's episode, we are going to uncover the uniqueness of Rwandese women. And if you are new here, remember to smash on that subscribe button and join our family. Remember to like, comment, and share our videos. Let's get right in. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Barbara Murirgo. Barbara, what do you do? I'm a student. My name is Arteta Diana Mwaza and I am a student at the University of Rwanda doing international relations. My name is Esther. Esther? Yeah. What do you do, Esther? I study in the University of Rwanda. What's your name? Uh, Kadiza Divine. Divine? Yeah. Uh, Divine, what do you do? I'm a student. What is so unique about Rwandese women? Okay. I uh, think what's so unique on Rwandese women, they are known for their resilience. Rwandese women, we are, we are, we are strong. It's difficult for us to give to give up on something. We keep moving with strength and determination. And the second one, I think Rwandese women, we are unique on our cultural richness, which creates a beautiful art. Yeah. What is so unique about? Rwandese women. Uh, Rwandan uh, Rwanda women, uh, one of the unique things that they have, okay, it's not so much, mm -hmm. but uh, they are hardworking, class one, because they actually work too hard for their families. And also, and also they are, they are empowered by the government, you know, the government has been uh, like empowering like women, because, you know, you remember the discrimination between boys and girls in the first day so the government has been like empowering them and they've been using it to the maximum you know the, like the ladies in Rwanda they've been using it to the maximum and also they are um, they are also uh, they are also talented you know they're also talented they got a bunch of talents like if you were to go deep to look deep uh, in the in the in the communities where ladies express themselves freely freely without uh, without being shy and everything yeah and they're also confident that's one that is another one they are also confident about their culture about about uh, actually mostly about what Rwanda has in culture yeah that's it i guess yes so what do you think is so unique about Rwandese women um Rwandese women they are a lot of things mm -hmm. they're honest okay they're intelligent they are beautiful and um, they have like big foreheads. Big foreheads? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone talk about your foreheads. Okay, I may not have a big one, but <laughs> my, <laughs> my fellow girls, mm -hmm. they have big foreheads. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they have... Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, random girls are beautiful. Uh, they have, they are intelligent, they are honest, they are, of course they have the foreheads, beautiful foreheads. <laughs> Forehead. Yeah, they mm -hmm. have uh, nice voices, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they have a, a beautiful shape. Uh, another thing, what I know, they are hardworking. Okay. Yeah. And others, uh, I think, uh, they like to be famous. They like to be famous? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Many Rwandese girls don't like speaking in front of camera, so no. how can they be interested in being famous? Why they don't like speaking in front of a camera? No, actually those found in the cities, uh -huh. uh, they are not shy, but those found in rural areas, uh, they are sometimes shy. Okay. Yeah, but they are, that, that's not much. Okay. So another thing I know Look about... Look at the camera. Yeah, okay. another yeah. thing I, I know about the Rwandan girls, they are confident. Oh, yeah. They are confident. Barbara, can you date out of Rwanda? Mm, 
Nope. No. Why? Because I love my country. So don't you love other countries? I love them, but I love our, our, our country's tradition. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So now, so Teta, would you marry out of Rwanda? Yes, I can. It, like, it may depend. Like, if I find a man outside my culture or outside my country who has the values that I want in a man, I can go with them. It's not a big deal to me. Like, it's not a matter of the country you're marrying to. It's, it's the man that I'm marrying. It doesn't matter where he comes from as long as he has the values and, the, and everything that I need in a man. That's it. Divine, can you date out of Rwanda? Yeah, I can date out of Rwanda. Uh -huh. I believe that there are some other men who have other good qualities and characteristics out of Rwanda. Like, like, like uh, men from which country? Nigerians. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you like to date Nigerian men? They're They are spoilers, that's first. And they can spoil their they girlfriends. They care a lot. They care a lot. Yeah. More than uh, More Rwandan? Than, yeah. Sure. I think so. Okay. <laughs> the majority, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you marry out of Rwanda? Me? For myself? Yes. I yes. can't. You cannot marry somebody who is not a Rwandan. I can't. Why? <laughs> what I know is that because Rwandans. I have I I have to marry a, a man from Rwanda because they they share the same sometimes same same uh, personalities but those found abroad or, or in another countries around other countries they have some some manners that that we can't support or hold okay. so I prefer to marry a Rwandan man yeah that's my why would someone marry a Rwandese girl. Like I told you, Rwandan girls actually they 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 have they, they we have culture that we take to heart, and uh, we have our own values that we respect very much, and also, uh, and also, uh, Rwandan women being hardworking, it's something that that can also encourage someone to <laughs> to marry them, and also uh, the fact that uh, we okay Rwandan women they are. Okay, I cannot say that it's all of them, but the majority is uh, they are like they are honest with their men, and I don't care about the experiences that people have had with uh, with uh, with the ladies in Rwanda, but with my with what I know, with what I know, with what I have with my friends. I mean, in most cases, when it comes to marrying, and uh, and uh, and in that process, you know, it come uh, uh, women and women are honest when it comes to that to that matter to that subject. So I guess. I'd like really encourage them to actually marry a bunch of them because they are actually beautiful. I don't know why you can't even marry a random lady. That's that is something. Are aren't they gold diggers? Uh, I don't know about that because I mean you can't actually you can't miss a, a gold digger in any country. Like there are gold diggers in every country, so it's not specifically for random women. Like we are actually that is not something that that is not something that defines us as as random women. No. We are not gold diggers. We just work hard. So if me working hard, you if you take it, if you interpret it in me being a gold digger, that's up to you. That is your own interpretation. But me, I'm just trying to work hard for my own good, to my for my own uh, future. So I don't think we are gold diggers. Nah. Why would somebody uh, marry a Rwandese girl or a Rwandese lady? As I say, Rwandese women we are beautiful. As you see, <laughs> and the second, around these women, we we are uh, like we respect. We have mm -hmm. respect. Yeah. Yeah, That's, you are respectful. Yeah, I'm respectful already. It is said that around these ladies are gold diggers. No, we are not. Mm. Who told you that? Some people say it like on social medias. Yeah, social media still tells everything, but we are not. Why would somebody marry a Rwandese girl? Okay, first of all, Rwandan girls, they have culture, they dress well, mm -hmm. uh, they are beautiful, they are intelligent, they are hardworking, and yeah, they are beautiful. So why would somebody date a, a Rwandese girl? 
they are beautiful mm -hmm. they, and they are so caring like they care a lot they care a they, lot yeah and mm -hmm. they are so intelligent and they are so they can be romantic they are romantic when uh -huh. when the guy uh -huh. is willing to be romantic too okay i mean they be open and ha, the relationship it's amazing Tita, what would you advise someone who wish to marry a Rwandese girl? Please go find them. That's it. Go and find her and make sure you treat her like a queen because they are queens in in nature. We are queens in nature. So please go find them and and also make sure to treat her the right way because uh, we hate someone who doesn't value us, you know? Someone devaluing you when the government has already valued you, it's something <laughs> that you cannot take. So that's it. So now give a message mm. to somebody out there who is not a Rwandan, who want to marry a Rwandese girl. Okay, what I, what I can tell you is that, first of all, a Rwandan girl to, to accept you, you have to respect her. Mm -hmm. You have to, to be confident or to be proud of her, of course. And you have to take care of her, yeah, in all manners, and you have to give her money. Money. Yeah, money. They like sure. Money. So you're you're gold diggers. No, we are not gold diggers. Mm -hmm. But of course, someone you love, you have to care of. Her. You have uh -huh. to care. Yeah, about her. You have to give her everything. Everything. In, yeah. That that she, she she wants. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Esther. Thank you so much. Just give a short message to those uh, foreigners who are thinking of dating you, Rwandese. <laughs> Yeah, you. It's um, it's a very good choice, like I said, and uh -huh. uh, we are lovers. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe, share, comment, like, and uh, <laughs> and everything. That thank you. Thank you, Divine. Tell them to subscribe. So subscribe, share, comment, and. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Barbara. You're welcome.